And today's hearing comes after the committee previewed testimony from Trump's former Attorney General Bill Barr, who said he repeatedly told Trump that he did not see evidence of voter fraud that would have affected the outcome of the election. Let's bring in ABC News contributor, former Republican Congresswoman Barbara Comstock of Virginia for more on this. Barbara, what did you make of that testimony from Bill Barr and Ivanka Trump then saying that she accepted Barr's assessment of the election? Well, I think it shows at the highest level of the Justice Department, somebody who conservatives and certainly Donald Trump at that time respected, told him there was no legal basis. And remember, uh, Bill Barr did ask um, various justice officials to look into these claims. He was getting claims sent to him. And as he you know, famously told Donald Trump personally, all of this stuff was BS. So today, now you'll move to his own campaign manager, who, if as I would expect, um, was also telling him that they did not have a path to win. Because I recall talking to, you know, people who, you know, a person, I'll say, who was close to the president at that time. And he did say, you know, in that November, you know, after a week or so, yes, we know he, we know he lost. He'll accept it. And a lot of people were hearing that, if you remember back then. And I think a lot of these officials, like Stepien, were probably talking off the record to the press. They were probably talking off the record to people on the Hill and to other colleagues. So he is going to have to tell the truth here in what they presented to uh, Donald Trump. And, and Barbara, we're now hearing that Stepien uh, is actually not going to be testifying today. It's a huge last minute change for this hearing. How does that impact what happens today? Well, I think it shows you that it's damning. And the guy who, I'm, hey, I'm, I'm grateful to him for one thing, for um, helping Donald Trump lose. Mark Meadows helped him a lot with that. And of course, Donald Trump himself did. Um, he's also working for Harriet Hagman in Wyoming. I'm sure Donald, you know, well, I'm not sure. I'm speculating that Donald Trump may have told him, you know, hey, you testify, I'll cut you off. So I think this is unfortunate he's doing that. He's a young man. He has a long future ahead of him. Tying it to a sore loser like Donald Trump is not going to bode well. And I don't think he'll do well politically or legally. Uh, Barbara, an ABC News and Ipsos poll in January found 71% of Republicans don't believe Joe Biden was legitimately elected president. So can this committee change any minds on that? Well, here's the thing. Donald Trump only got 47%. And you don't have to change a lot of minds to put him in the range of never being electable again. You get, you just peel off three, four, five percent. He's down there, say at 44, 42 percent. You, there's no scenario really where you can have 42 percent of the popular vote and still win. Um, you know, we couldn't win it with 47. Now he has to assume he gets every one of those votes, and nobody dies, and nobody changes their mind. Uh, I don't see that happening. And uh, fortunately, you know, I, I certainly hope that Democrats are smart enough not to have Joe Biden on the ticket again. But there are many of us Republicans, those 30 percent who realize, you know, Donald Trump is a cancer on our party that will never vote for him under any circumstances, which would make him unelectable. So what are you watching for as these hearings resume this morning? Well, I imagine they will have plenty of testimony from Bill Stepien that will show why he doesn't want to come forward and now admit to what he told them. There was a memo at the time that said the Dominion voting within the campaign that said the Dominion voting machine story was false and they knew it. There's going to be a fair amount of documents from both the campaign and the White House, as well as the administration, that will show that many people like probably Bill Steffi and told the president that he had lost and he refused to acknowledge it. So it'll, I think there will still be damning testimony for Donald Trump and it will just make Bill Steffi and look like, you know, the, the Trump sycophant that he has decided to become and make his career uh, lash to a sore loser who will be going down with a thud. All right, Barbara Constock, former Congresswoman, we appreciate it. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.